And that par 312, giving out a two-year lease of a Lamborghini for every ace made. Two have been given out already. Sue O, oh, the first swing of the day at the 12th. Oh, Perfection. A day after a good buddy, Hannah Green, won the million dollars for the Aeon Risk Reward Challenge. Sue O oh, with a one. Shortest name on tour, smallest score you could make. Nelly Corda at the first for Bertie to take the lead. Beautiful putt, and the first hole is kind of a, a little warm up. Lexi with a 15 footer that she made for par at the second. Nelly for par. And back she goes into a tie with Lexi at 16 under. And going to the third. A couple of tremendous Americans here. Lexi on this hole last year made an ace. And would come up about a foot shy this time, but that would. Be a tap in bird. But at the fourth, par four, Nelly's approach. Pretty good par four, but she has been driving the ball such a long way that that is uh, just one of her wedges. Lexi made par there, Nelly made birdie. Both made par at the fifth, then at the sixth, Nelly to take the lead back. She talked about all of her chances this week. At the twelfth, Aditi Ashuk. There's a two-year lease of a Lamborghini for every ace this week. There have been three of them. Set that up well to the right, knowing she was going to play a draw. Final round of the Pelican Women's Championship. Tied with Nelly Corda entering the final round. Nelly leads by one until this. Lexi for birdie. What a beautiful putt. Uh, perfectly read. Lovely speed. The front page, Nelly to regain the lead. Look how quick it is above the hole. That is amazing, though, the way the ball moved, because every indication with the green would be that that ball would go to the right, but it actually went back to the left and uh, probably plays into how big a break we saw from Lexi Thompson's putt. With his putt for par to stay at 18 under. And as they were when this final round began, Maria Fossi linked so closely with Jennifer Cupcho from their collegiate and amateur days. Here she is at the 10th. What a second half she's had, Judy. Uh, yeah, we have to give a little bit of the credit to Stacy Lewis. Lexi got the best over this hole by six yards. Breeze out of the right with a little bit of hurt. That's turning left of the flag a fair bit. Like stick way back and on the right side of the green. That's for par. Now we had the three putt at the second. You really to need to keep that ball just left of the hole location, don't you, Jerry? Because it falls off to the right. She's coachable. Oh, wow. Yeah. And we, uh, we highlighted that grip change yesterday. Um, but uh, the putting makes Lexi Thompson look like a different kind of player. Lydia Ko to get within two. She won last week in the Middle East uh, on very similar greens to these. Uh, I don't think it's a big change at all to have come here. The biggest change would have been the travel. Yeah. Coglin has put in a very fine performance this week. Let's go out to 12. And at that par three, the second shot for Caroline Inglis in her third full season on the LPGA Tour. You don't get a Lamborghini for that. Yeah, she knew it. So Lexi goes out in two under, Nelly goes out in three under, and Nelly leads by one at 19 under par. Say Young Kim. It's from 141, it's all pitching wedge. Quite heavily downwind right now, wind really started to pick up out here. Came out low and took a big hop forward down that back slope. Come back at all. 
does but we will update you on uh, those other players as the afternoon goes on Lydia Ko from down in that little swale at the 11th that is such a good touch from Lydia I've cleared it with ease but it's right right edge mm. Wow the putt will really be fun Beautiful stroke. Mm. Well, we said earlier in the week, could be a, a big week for lag putting, and Lexi with an enormous two putt there. Now Nelly has to keep it under the tree with a chippy seven iron. Uh, it's just a matter of how well she judges the distance, and it's not easy to do. It's got to get on top and uh -huh. go down. Brilliant. About that. Absolutely brilliant from the world number one, Nelly Corda. She leads by one and a chance to extend the lead. Perfect. So from under a tree, perfectly judged with her punch shot, converted into a birdie, and to 20 under she goes. Fall back at the lead, say young Kim here for a par at 11. So you Think to yourself, this needs to go in. Oh dear, Karen. So that's just a five there for Se Young, and she goes five behind Nelly Corder. To my eye, though, the thing, and the thing I like the most about it is for the first time, I have to say in a long time or if ever, uh, she seems to me to have a touch. And, um, you know, when you look at some of the really best putters in the game, you look at a Christy Kerr and the way she putted. You go back and look at how Nancy Lopez putted. Yeah, great point by Karen Stubbles during Marshall, exactly. It's playing 126, so she should be with third on this shot. That's flying right of it. Uh, careful, careful. It's right on the edge. Get up there and mark it. That is right on the edge. Nice. And uh, Lexi have never really battled together in the final group on Sunday. Yeah. How about her touch? Pretty good. Excellent. <laughs> Over the years, Lydia Ko for par. Perfect speed. And her touch in Lydia Ko's case. It's a whole location that is uh, just there for the taking. Yeah, good chance for a birdie. Ball striking has been key, she said, uh, this week to her success. Yeah, Thursday night, you can see it on Facebook Live. How nice is that? Let's get back over to 12. And say Young Kim for birdie. From that valley in the middle of this green, got to go up that steep slope. It's nice to judge for speed. Very nice. Two back when the round began, say Young. Now five behind Nelly Corda. As she looks to extend a streak of years with a victory to seven. Rookie of the year in 2015, player of the year last year. She's going to try and just land this barely on the fringe, it looks like, and let it run down to the hole, just like that. That's pretty good. Getting better. Not stone dead, but uh, don't want to have to hit that one a second time. Nelly to stay in front by one. Little delicate downhill should drop a hair right. We are tied again. As we were when this final round began. Bogey for Nelly, birdie for Lexi. 
I'm saying it's got 118. This is quite a lot downwind now. Whole location in quite an accessible spot there. Yeah, we've seen a lot of good shots in here today. Looking to try and be really aggressive coming in. Yeah. That's a good start. Yeah, she's got to just... What do you think? She might have to birdie all the holes coming in. There's uh, par five coming up next. 15's a tough hole. It's Paddy Tabatanik at second at 13. That's a sandwich for 94. Yeah, right on the line there for Patty. Just a hop forward, it would have been really good. Tabatanik it now for birdie at 13. This one should move a bit right. Mm. Seem to start too far left. So good opportunity goes missed there for Tabatanik it, who remains one under for the day. Her eye sees this line really well. Did she? Yes! Lexi for birdie at 12. She's within one. Running out of time here to win. That'll help. She uses the lowest spinning ball that's manufactured, and it still spins a lot. So, yeah, she's always careful of it, but downwind should help a little in that regard. Needed a bit more spin. So she should have that for a birdie. I didn't even know the word Lambo before this week, so I've learned a lot. <laughs> you thought it was the field, the Green Bay. I did, I did. A slightly different spelling. I did. I thought it was Aaron Rodgers' home. Got a head of it a hair. Yeah, just love it. Everybody that is a member takes part, so a lot of fun. Now he's just cleaning up, and there was an announcement this morning that uh, Pelican Women's Championship. Well, it makes it the top of the leaderboard, only a couple of shots back. Let's go to 16. And in the top 10 in the race to the CME Globe, top 10 in the world ranks, top 10 on the leaderboard. Brooke Henderson is going to move up a bit. Lydia Kerr is a really good tee shot here. It's for birdie. Yeah, it's a good two today. It's a tough hole playing as the fourth hardest hole on the golf course. It's 194 yards. Flag all the way in the back left. That was struck nicely. That's on a great line if it's the club just right of the hole. Uh huh. Needs to settle. It hit just on that downhill little hump at the beginning of the green, but beautiful shot. Mm. Three putt par for Nelly. Her second three putt of the day. The door is open for Lexi. That's going to hurt. Really, really tight lie, slide uphill lie. Took about 30 practice swings. Clipped it. Wow. Yeah. Very good. So two of the best on tour in par five scoring average have the hole with par. They remain tied for the lead. Lydia Coat is not out of it by. If it's the right club, it's going to be good. Just right of the hole. Yeah, she's got the club full length, but probably a little shorter swing. There you go. Mm. Mm. Lexi by 60 yards. Unable to cash it into a birdie. Tap in par, stays 19 under. Let's go to 18. Lydia Coe got to at least birdie to have a chance.
chance to win it. It's a tough hole. It's the toughest on the course. Oh, and a beauty. No yeah. guarantee of what these two will do on 17 or 8. Lydia Cota post 18 under. She's going to come up short, it would appear, in terms of winning this event, but she moves one step closer to winning the Vare Trophy for the low scoring average in the season. She has the lowest average among those who are going to get to 70 rounds. She needs one more round to qualify. And that's pulled as well. Oh, no, it's not going to miss the green, is it? It's okay. snap back in the hole. Yeah, it's happened to her so often she pushed it a fraction. So Lexi with the drop shot. I mean gives Nelly some hope there. Has 160 back into this breeze. Took her drive down that right side to take advantage of her length. This is well struck. It's on a good line. We've seen her hold it from the fairway before. To the Lote Championship to beat Indy Park in a playoff a rookie year. The lead is one for Lexi Thompson over Lydia Ko, and it could be one over Say Young Kim. This for Birdie at the 18th. Uphill, slow putt. Good putt. Oh, wow. <laughs> Say Young joins Lydia Ko at 17 under, one shot behind Lexi Thompson. You have to get cute, but she has to. Pretty good there. And a chance to save bogey. That's just how difficult it was. She needs to clean this one up. And she will be one behind heading to the 18th tee. Oh, oh my. my goodness me. That is unthinkable from Nelly Corda. This could be huge. Four yards closer. With a seven iron. That's on a good line if it's the club. Another beauty. Yeah, good shot, Nelly. Birdied this hole yesterday. Good stroke. What a bounce back. What a putt. After a triple bogey at 17, Nelly Corda buries the birdie at the 18th, the toughest hole on the court. Comes. We're going to keep playing. And how about these luminaries going overtime here? She picked it cleanly. Sounded good. That's a seriously good shot. Wow. It'll be a tough third. Yeah, she's she's got us. Nicely controlled ball flight there. And just release. And you've got one of the best short games in all of golf. Just a little bit turning left. It's the proper side, though. Barely. What a shot from Lexi Thompson. She knows what this. Picked it very cleanly, just right of the hole. Not far from where she made it she in regulation. Putt. Yeah. How about that? How about that? Oh, wow. Was that ever sweet? Gutsy. She's done it again. I 
I am so impressed. A stunner. Nelly Corda, world number one. Wait a minute, she's got a hug. So funny. And a hug from sister Jessica.